Self-doubt are those thoughts that limit us by suggesting we can't do something or we're not good enough. Self-doubt is so bad that many of you can't even charge for your products. Many of you can't even charge for your products because you don't believe that someone can go pay that price for it. Why is it important for us to overcome self-doubt? Number one, self-doubt would ultimately lead to unfulfillment. You know why? Because there'll be things you want to do you will never ever do because you're doubting yourself. And once you don't do them, then you become unfulfilled. Once you become unfulfilled, you become unhappy. So self-doubt would eventually lead to unfulfillment and what? Unhappiness. Where did your self-doubt come from? Can you trace it to anything? This is also the reason why men struggle. Because we also men that men don't cry. Suck it up. And that's why suicide is higher amongst men than what? Women. Because they suck it up and kill themselves. Many of you need to talk, but you've not learned how to talk. You're in a church like this where you can talk. Yet, you will not talk. Suffering in silence. I've told you before, our church is not like other churches. We have imperfect people in our church. We have struggling people in our church. And it's okay. The circumstances of life are not perfect. And they're not a perfect expression of God's love towards you. So, for example, the moment you had a divorce, something happened. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm no longer a person because I'm a divorce. The moment you lost 10 million, I'm not intelligent. The question is that who didn't have issues along the way? What self that does to you is that it takes all the bad experiences, pull it together, and hits you like a stone. You just start connecting what is not connected. You know, say, I, I'm cursed. Because once you feel that way, you're not looking for the evidences to prove that you are cursed. David said, Saul, you are good with herbs and all of these things. Me, I'm good with slings. Let me use the sling I have to do what I can do. In life, there are things you'll be good at, nobody's good at. There are things you will not be good at, other people are good at. That's it. Some pastors can sing. I was in Abuja some days ago. I, I finished preaching. The next one was Apostle Joshua Selma. Has he got on the stage? After small preaching, he just said singing. Ri, 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 ri. I said, oh wow, nice. But you know the thing? For one minute, I didn't feel he was a better speaker. Because I stay in my gifts. And he stays in his gifts. So one of my pastors followed me to the meeting and I said, Pastor Olaji, you know what I love about you? You're one of the few people that anybody can ask you a question and you have the right answer to. That's my gift. If he tries now to do what I'm trying to do, then he might have a problem. And if I try to do what he's trying to do, then he might have a problem. Once you have self-doubt, one of the things you'll find out is this. You will not be able to stay in your lane. So you will be very unstable. You are here today. You are there tomorrow. You are here today. And it will lead to failure. Because the Bible says, unstable as water, you will not excel. Have you not seen some people that try to imitate strategics as pastors? And they make a terrible mess of it. Because they don't have grace to think that I'm gifted. And God called me this way. Just like sometimes you meet some girls. They want to give the impression that they are too sh They speak British accent with Yoruba vowels. You know, like... You know, you know, Jan, oh, yes, ah, you know, like, this girl has not read the paper before. A simple way to be depressed is to focus on yesterday. Because you cannot change it, you will just get very unhappy. People that move on very easily, they have mental philosophies they tell themselves. There are things they tell themselves. I always tell myself, what is in the past is in the past. I can't change it. Can I change it? No. Why worry over it? And let me tell you something. A simple way to be depressed is to focus on the past that you cannot change. Who is depressed here? The reason why I'm saying so is that most people that are depressed, they focus on the past that they cannot change. True or false? What can you do about what happened last year? Nothing. What can you do about what happened this morning? Nothing. Sometimes I make mistakes. You know, I just believe that I will live a better tomorrow than yesterday. So you must remember, I cannot change what I deny. For you to change anything, the first thing is that you must accept what responsibility. This is what it is. What it is is that I'm, I'm hurting. Some of you are here, you have a relationship that went bad and you miss him. And you know that what happened is not something I cannot fix. You say that, I don't want to admit I miss him. You better call him or her and say, I miss you. You've done what you can do. Their response is their problem. At least you will tell yourself, I tried. Yes or no? It's now when... You now meet up a year after. Oh, and if you are coming out because I was also missing you. If you had told me that time, I say, Oh my God, why didn't I do that? Why do you want to regret? Relationship will always bring pain because human beings are not perfect. But have the pain that I tried, rather I regret. Some that leads to unhappiness and unfulfillment. You know the honest truth about me? When I got married, I couldn't talk. My wife would ask me questions, how I feel. My feelings were zero. It was as if my feelings were outside my body. But you know the bad thing? Once you cannot talk, the other person cannot meet your need. The reason why is that it takes you to articulate what your need is, how you want it to be met, and it help the other person see it, and they can also do the same for you. So what you do is that you'll just be enduring pain, enduring pain. Then one day you just explode. 
This is what you will notice. Every time God wants to build you up, it begins to speak words towards you. If you want to build up your self words, watch what you say to yourself. And let me tell you something. What you say to yourself are two things. is what you say with your mind and what you say in your mind. There's what you say with your mouth and there's what you say in your mind. What you say in your mind is as powerful as what you say in your mouth. In your mouth, you don't say you are, you are stupid, but in your mind you say it. What devil used to bring self that to you is the accumulation of bad experiences and it makes it stay in your face. You overcome self that by speaking positive words to yourself. Looking for more content like this? Subscribe and click the notification bell to know when we post new content. Now, click here to watch more of our content.